FrameMaker has a powerful feature called object styles. Object styles actually have no equivalent in Microsoft Word, and in our, in our exploration of uh, Microsoft Word and FrameMaker, we're going to work with this feature today. First thing you'll notice is that we have a new kind of catalog. It's called the object style catalog. We actually have the object style applied in just one place on the page that we're looking at right now. You'll notice that in these anchored frames, only one of them has a dark border around it. If I go ahead and select this anchored frame and click on elephant, notice that it also has a dark border around it. And I'll do the same thing here. You'll see that by simply clicking on it, it's applying some type of properties that have been saved in this object style. Let's go ahead and modify this object style so we can see just how easy it is to do. We simply go to the object style designer and what I'd like to do is to make a change that affects anchored frames because that's what we have selected. So one of the things that we'd like to do to the anchored frame is have them position themselves differently. Rather than centering themselves below the current line, we're going to tell them to run into the paragraph and we'd like the text to uh, go, the text to run around and have the graphic on the right hand side. I'm going to go ahead and update all and as I do this and close the menu, you'll see that it has indeed done that to each instance where we have applied this. We could uh, also change this again by running it to the other side. Notice that it did not affect the anchored frames which do not have the styles applied to them. We have one other object style defined which is called angle. You'll see that right here. And so I'm going to this time select this arrow and click on angle to see what happens. Notice that it automatically moves down to a predefined angle. Let's go ahead and change the other angles as well. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and select this one and apply angle. There. So now we can see that all three of them are pointing um, in the same direction. If we wanted to globally change the style of that um, angle which is being applied to an object in this case we would do with something very similar we would simply go into the object style designer as we did before and this time we're actually concerned with uh, dimensions which includes the rotation so instead of just being 33 degrees uh, perhaps we would like it to be 45 degrees to be a little bit more pronounced and if we do an update all uh, we can see that indeed each one of the arrows has now moved down to 45 degrees instead of 33 degrees Simple and easy to use. You can create a variety of object styles, and this will allow you to globally change only those anchored frames or those graphic objects which you have named, which can save you hundreds of hours per year. One more example of how FrameMaker can save you time and money versus large complex projects in Microsoft Word.